Bill Gates once said, I choose a lazy person to do a hard job because a lazy person will find an easy way to do it. This video is all about being that lazy person. So let's jump right into Figma and let's learn how we can lazily create this Figma prototype. So here's the issue. Whenever we are designing prototyping or building prototypes in Figma, we end up having hundreds of prototyping links all over the place. And if we ever need to make a change, we have to make it in numerous places and it just becomes chaotic. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can reduce 80 to 90% of all that work, that manual work, and really just automate it and be smart and efficient with your prototypes. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. We've got a homepage design over here with the sidebar. We then have five different pages, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. And these pages are dashboard, projects, calendar, documents, and reports. And if I zoom into the sidebar, you can see it reflects just that. So here's how people would normally do this design. So they'll go ahead and we've got a sidebar. So we'll put the sidebar into all our pages, right? So I'm just gonna copy them down and I'll just quickly paste them down over here. And what I would normally do is I would go to my dashboard and click into my dashboard. I will then link dashboard with the dashboard, projects with the projects, calendar with the calendar, documents with the documents, and then we have reports with the reports, right? Sounds pretty straightforward. Now, what if we want to link projects with projects? We'd have to once again, do that one once, and then we'd have to go twice, and then we'd have to go documents again, right? All the way down to documents, and then we'd have to keep doing that until we have created all the links for every single page. That amount of work wastes so much time, it's manual and it's also inefficient because what happens if we ever decide to change the link from projects for some odd reason, we wanna link it to calendar. We would have to do that five times for every little change. So here is the lazy way that Bill Gates would probably hire us to do. So I'm gonna remove all the sidebars and let me just quickly fix up the sidebar and just remove some of these links. Perfect, so all the links have been removed. I'm gonna zoom right into my design. I'm gonna grab the sidebar. I'm gonna move it out of the frame. Have a think about what am I actually going to do? I'll give you a couple of seconds. What do you think I'm gonna do? Now, if you thought about turning this into a component, you are smart. Well, you are lazily smart. So I'm gonna hit Command Option K, or you can also hit the diamond icon up here, turn that into a component. So now I'm gonna go ahead and link the components up with the pages. So dashboard to dashboard, projects to projects. I'm gonna zoom out just to do this really quickly. All right, so I've just quickly linked them up, nothing fancy. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select my home screen, I'm gonna hit Shift I, I'm gonna type in sidebar to find the component, drop it down, and I'm gonna move it to the left. As you can see, the links have already been set up because this sidebar now is an instance of the main component sidebar, right? And quick plug, if you do wanna get access to all these beautiful components, it is part of our ship faster UI design system. So yeah, check it out if you want, link is in the description. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and link this, copy this, paste it down, copy this, paste it down, paste the sidebar down onto all the screens. All the links have been set up so if I go ahead and just simply preview this really quickly, you'll be able to see that if I click on projects, we'll go to projects, calendar, we'll go to calendar, documents, we'll go to documents, reports, we'll go to reports. Now, here's the time saver. Here's what Bill Gates will be hiring us for, paying us $100,000 a year to prototype. If we ever decide to change reports, right, to documents, just for some odd reason, we wanna change it to documents, Bang, we made it to documents. If I click on the home screen, what happens? You can see that reports links all the way down to documents. So it's the red screen. So if I go ahead and prototype this really quickly, documents, red, right? This, because we are using a component which contains all these links already, we are simply using an instance of the component, which means we have reduced 80 to 90% of all that manual work, which we would originally have to do. So hopefully you learned a nice little trick that you can utilize to reduce 90% of all that manual work. Now, if you want to learn more about Figma and really master it, check out my Figma Masterclass course. We've had over 3000 students, 10 hours of practical lessons that you can learn to master Figma from design systems to file management and even advanced prototyping. All right, guys, I'll see you in another video very soon.